So who's the next unfortunate? Martin Walcott. Do you know him? Walcott. No, I don't think so. What do you do, skim off the top while you were away? On the contrary. He recorded record profits. So what's your beef? Raymond! It's been too long. Martin Walcott, Smokey Putt. Yeah, nice to meet you. I brought the book. I figured you'd want to go over the numbers. Smokey used to run with the circus, handle logistics, trains in, trains out. I'm surprised the two of you haven't crossed paths. I'm just a sideshow for Martin. He's a senior VP at a railroad that runs freight between New Mexico and Illinois. Is that a fact? Yeah, I'm surprised you never hooked up. Let me ask you something, Martin. And I want a simple yes or no. Did you turn me into the police? Fred, what? No! Of course not. Why would you ever ask me that? Because that's an awfully big number. And the only way you could have hit it was if I was in prison. I thought you'd be pleased. Did you? I don't think so. If you thought I'd be pleased, the book would reflect how you hit the number. But it doesn't do that, does it? It's a big number because you cut a deal with the Catala cartel to run methamphetamine. You used my network, my trucks, my drivers, my warehouses. If you're not going to be in the drug business, somebody else will be. It's not like we're going to stop it from coming in, right? <laughs> I'm not in the methamphetamine business. It's a poison. You traded on my name. I'm a relatively forgiving man. But that, that I can't forgive. Right. Hold on, hold on. I thought that what you... What do you think? Me? Yeah. What do you think I should do with Martin? I'm curious. I don't know, I, I guess... <clears throat> on one hand, he kind of betrayed you. I say kind of because when you were in prison, maybe he was thinking in that situation he had some latitude. You said on the one hand, is there another? Yeah, no, of course. I mean, look, I never killed anyone. When it comes to people, I'm vegan. <laughs> so if it was up to me, and, and let's all reflect on how awesome it is that it's not, but if it was, I guess I'd opt for firing him or finding him like you did with Andrasani. I mean, both these guys are family guys. Andrasani's got a wife, he's got a kid, so, you know. Anyway, that's why you do the strategic thinking and I stick to logistics. G. Gordon Liddy was an architect of the Watergate break-in. A strident true believer who trained himself to be unemotional about doing terrible things. He'd literally test himself by fire. Holding his hand over a flame without flinching as his flesh burned. People thought it was a trick. He said the trick is not minding. Ah, I mind. I mind. <laughs>